So I'm here in the water cube with Sam Torino. Uh, if you could hold up your badge, please. Thank you. So tell me that you, you were explaining that you're based in South Sudan. Tell me about the problems that you're facing there and the work that you're doing here. Uh, thank you for taking interview with me uh, to tell the rest of uh, fellow human beings uh, our problem we're facing as a new nation. Uh, we got our independence in the 9th in June and uh, we are now a few months uh, independent. Good, congratulations. So <laughs> our big uh, problem now we are facing is uh, urban areas are facing a serious water, safe water for population. At the moment the populations are coming back from different uh, countries, from neighboring countries, from the north, from Uganda, from all over the world. Now all urban areas is under pressure because there is no safe water. The facilities which were built, I think most of them were during British colonial time, and uh, most of them are worn up, and during war there is no spare parts. So people are thinking how to uh, give safe water in the population of, of, of southern Sudan, especially in urban areas and rural. Me, I'm uh, in the acting area manager in Juba, which is the capital of southern Sudan. Uh, the system is saving about 150,000, and uh, the population now is uh, around 800,000. So we are supposed to give 135,000 meters cube for 1.2 million people, but now we are giving 7,200 meters cube. 3,000 meters cube plus are going on loss because we have got the old network which was late 1937 on August uh, 8th. The first pipe entered the ground. Yeah. So we are facing problem how to bridge that gap between 135 meters, uh, thousand meters cube and uh, 720 uh, meters, uh, 7,200 meters cube. So what, what can be done to fix this quickly? Uh, we have got uh, 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 proposals, we have got long term uh, projects, we have got medium term and we have got immediate recovery program for urban areas. Our immediate program is uh, how to drill boreholes for people who are poor who are coming back uh, recently to uh, urban areas and uh, provide them with uh, some water yards. But we are facing problem with funding of this uh, project. And then in 2006 we faced a problem when peace agreement was signed in 2005-2006 we are tired by cholera because of influx of people coming to major uh, towns. So my main fear now when we get our independent there will be increase of population. This we are at risk at any time an uh, outbreak can come because it is poor sanitation, poor safe water supply. So. Why is it hard to get, I mean, it, obviously getting finance is, is often difficult, but is there anything that can be done to simplify that, to make it easier to get finance? To, or to tell, explain better what the goals are or? Uh, the big question is, you know, this, uh, every organization funding agency has got its own rules. So they've got their own criteria how to give fund. And uh, sometimes this is some of the problem making uh, things difficult for us. So you have, you have to package it according to lots of different sets of rules? Yes, uh, based on the funding agencies. Yeah. And uh, this is one of the problems we are facing. But uh, at the moment we need immediate uh, emergency plus support or recovery support just to save the people who are coming from a different part of the world to southern Sudan. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much also for taking all the information. Thanks. Thank you.